What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the park, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the same. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. I'm excited to introduce today's episode. Um, This episode is some of the biggest givers and uh, people I consider the experts in customer service, business development relationships, and I uh, always listen to their recommendations. So um, if you don't know this, you're listening to InspiredInsider.com. And some of mine, you'll, you'll be listening to some experts on their top books, and their top people and resources they recommend. Um, I wanna share some of mine. Um, I Some of my top books for you know, for my website, you can check out rise25.com and spartinsider.com. Um, my top books on customer service or business relationship partnerships, uh, Brian Kurtz, Over Deliver, it's a must, must read. Um, John Rulin, of Giftology, one of my favorites. Joey Coleman, Never Lose a Customer Again. I know some people who map out his you know, uh, the subtitle is turn any sale into a lifelong loyalty in a hundred days. I know someone who, people who took his book, mapped out the first hundred days of their customer journey using his book. Um, we have Adam Grant, give and take, uh, Bob Berg, the go giver and nothing, this list would not be complete without Dale Carnegie, how to win friends and influence people. I remember listening to those audio cassettes over and over in my car. So check those out. Um, Some of the people I really look at as uh, admire with customer service, business relationships, there's so many. And those people are on this episode because I reached out to them and asked them to share their knowledge, their recommended books, their recommended resources and people. So thank you. Hi there, my name is Tony Grebmeyer. I'm one of the owners at shipoffers.com. We've been around for over 19 years, a company that started in my garage. And I gotta tell you from the very beginning until today, relationships are the keys to the kingdom. They are the things that help you most. When you have a question, you pick up the phone and you dial somebody and questions were posed like, what are some resources you could share? Number one, the importance of taking care of not only your team members, but the clients you get to work with, and then they go out and give referrals and bring business back to you. So one of the greats, one of the best books that I picked up in the last couple of years, Giftology from John Rulin, uh, uh, just a great guy, a wonderful premise. Also, just the art of making shit happen in this day and age, you got to have a guy like a Steve Sims speaking to you. Great book, Blue Fishing. I recommend you pick it up. And if you're looking for some additional people to follow out in the market today, I got to tell you, the guy at Rise 25, Jeremy Wise, one of my dearest friends, always thinking about how to make a relationship better. It takes just the fantastic notes. And I invited Jeremy along with David Gonzalez from IMP, got a great consulting business, and Roland Frazier, digital marketer, and just a great guy all around to join me earlier this year on Networking Remote 2020. And they came on the show and those were the three people I wanted to kick my show off. They were the people that I think if you're going to need to know somebody in this industry, you follow those three, you're going to find the person you are looking for. Once again, my name is Tony Grebmeyer and thanks for letting me spend just a few minutes of time with you. Hi, Brian Kurtz here, participating in this Inspired Insider series on customer service and forging better relationships. Uh, My company is Titans Marketing. We're a direct marketing consultancy. Uh, but we really educate and train copywriters and marketers in everything direct marketing. My website is briankurtz.net. And um, I'll give you a couple of plugs on some books and I'll give you a couple of plugs on some people that epitomize what uh, Jeremy's trying to do uh, with this series. Um, the books are, are not as obvious um, for me. One of them is Give and Take by Adam Grant, which is a book about how you identify givers, takers, and matchers. Matchers are people who want to match you 50-50. And it's a really good book because it gives you the broad overview of what giving is all about. Um, And then I guess The Go-Giver by Bob Berg is another wonderful book. I think Retention by Robert Scrobe, which is a book about retaining customers, which is more important than getting them, believe it or not. And uh, my book, Over Deliver, Chapter 8, Customer Service and Fulfillment, are marketing functions. Um, 
And then uh, some people I'd like to just mention, Joe Polish is one of the biggest givers I know, a uh, great friend for over 20 years. Um, Jeremy Weiss, who is just an amazing giver and really understands what it means to collaborate. The 100 zero concept that I profess, that you give 100% of yourself and don't expect anything in return, and you end up getting so much more in return. Um, and I'll leave you with the fact that my book is called Over Deliver because it not it's because you, you should always over deliver rather than under deliver. You can't over deliver all the time, but people might expect too because people might expect too much, but you can deliver most of the time. Hey guys, my name is Chris Dreyer. I'm the CEO and founder of Rankings.io, where we help elite personal injury attorneys dominate first page rankings. The top three books I recommend for customer service and business relationships and partnerships, I'd say number one is Never Lose a Customer Again by Joey Coleman. It's a great book about, you know, worrying about all the processes from when you first talk to the client till they're an existing client to making them into an evangelist, the onboarding experience. There's a lot of good nuggets there. Another great book, The Art of Client Service. And then a third book, kind of an old school, Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And number three, a few people I highly respect for business relationships. So in, in my space, digital agency space, Carl Sakis, he's, he's uh, my executive coach. He's a, he's a beast. He is very organized, process oriented, very knowledgeable about what it takes to scale a digital agency. I also work with Jason Swink. Jason Swink runs an incredible mastermind. Uh, he has, you know, segmented channels. Just there's tons of access by working with him. He's just a great guy to work with too to help. Uh, he, he's also just phenomenal and uh, instrumental in helping grow my business. Ian Garlic here. Ian, not Ian. Garlic like the spice. And I'm the founder of StoryCruise.com, where you can find the latest video strategies from the experts in the industry. We just did the Giants of Video Summit on Story Cruise, not like a cruise ship, C-R-E-W-S.com. You also can find a directory of videographers and editors near you that are trained in marketing. Um, and you can go to storycruise.com. It's free to use. There's a ton of awesome video marketing information. Um, top three books for customer service. Number one, Joey Coleman's Never Lose a Customer Again. Probably the best book out there for customer service. Uh, you can really increase your profits by reading this book. Be Our Guest, The Disney Customer Service Methodology. I feel like I'm under the gun with this little timer here. Um, and then <laughs> um, Setting the Table by Danny Meyer. Absolutely incredible uh, business and customer service book. Uh, three people for amazing at building relationships and our incredible givers. My friend Tony Gredmeyer of Ship Offers. One of the nicest people out there, most giving people out there, really great at building relationships. Um, and he has an amazing podcast too. Um, Dr. Jeremy Weiss of Rise 25, probably one of the best people for networking and really creating solid relationships. And then my friend Jay Fissett, um, you know, he's incredible at these JV partnerships, but connecting people, bringing the right people in the room together. I would say those are my three big relationship builders and givers out there. Um, yeah, I'm Garlic. Hi, I'm Joel Weldon. Most likely the oldest guest you're going to hear on a podcast. Actually, I'm so old, my social security number is five. Did you just laugh? Well, good. That means I've gotten your attention. Now I can continue telling you what it is I do. I coach successful people on how to be even more effective speakers and communicators. My website is www.ultimatespeaker.com or email me at joelweldonspeaker at gmail.com. For over 45 years, I've been a Hall of Fame professional speaker with well over 3,000 paid talks. Plus, I have personally coached and critiqued well over 10,000 speakers. Here are three basic beliefs that can help you become an even better speaker and communicator. Number one, speaking effectively is a learned skill. Number two, be yourself, be you. And when you're congruent, you can relax. And number three, it's little tweaks that get you big results. That's how simple we make effective speaking. Reading is important too. So I'd recommend Younger Next Year by Crowley and Lodge, subtitled, Live Strong and Fit 
and sexy until you're 80 and beyond. And that's why as I approach 80, I'm still working full time, a competitive slalom water skier and sky skier. For a person in business that I'd admire and respect, Coach John Wooden. He died at age 99 after a legendary career as basketball coach at UCLA. Read every one of his books, and then you can go out and make it a great day. I am super excited to be on the Inspired Insider Series with you. My name is Joey Coleman, and you can find me at joeycoleman.com. I teach companies how to keep their customers. And when it comes to great customer experience books, there are three that I'd like to recommend that aren't traditionally thought of as customer experience books per se, but I think offer some incredibly valuable insights and wisdom for you. The first one is called The Membership Economy by Robbie Baxter. It's all about how increasingly your customers are looking to be in a long-term relationship with you. They want to consider themselves part of a membership that you run. And what can you do to design these type of interactions in your business. The second one is called Attention Pays by the incomparable Neen James. This fantastic book, as alluded to by the title, is all about how focusing and paying attention to your customers can lead to great relationships and a fantastic increase in your bottom line. The last one is an oldie but a goodie. It's called Love Marks, and it's by Kevin Roberts, the CEO of Saatchi and Saatchi Advertising Company. This book is all about how do you create a brand that people will love and want to be in an ongoing relationship with. Now, when it comes to some people who I highly respect uh, in the space of customer experience, customer service, and forging better relationships, a couple come to mind, Matthew Bertulli and Brad Peterson at the fantastic Pila Case. It's a Canadian company that's all about sustainability solutions for a throwaway society. They're absolutely wonderful in how they create connection with their customers. John Rulin, the CEO of Giftology, a company that's all about strategic appreciation and how you can build connection with your customers. And last but not least, Ethan Butte, the Chief Evangelist at BombBomb. Hi, everybody. This is Mike Roderick from Small Pond Enterprises. Uh, my website is smallpondenterprises.com, and I'm excited to do this Inspired Insider series. So in terms of books that I highly recommend, uh, I'd start with Adam Grant's Give and Take, a really wonderful book to help you think about your own process of giving and, and asking. Uh, then Never Read Alone uh, by Tal uh, Raz and uh, Keith Ferrazzi, both uh, really Really, really great guys and, and very, very uh, excellent material. And then the final book that I would recommend is the classic How to Win Friends and Influence People. I just think there's so much uh, there in terms of psychology. Uh, in regards to the people that I highly respect in this space, uh, first, uh, of course, would be Dory Clark, uh, author of uh, Stand Out and Reinventing You. Uh, she has a lot of wonderful, uh, wonderful material and is also just a great connector, as well as uh, Robbie Samuels, uh, who also writes a lot on relationship building, but is doing some really cool stuff in, in the Zoom uh, side of things, really teaching people about the technology. Uh, and then uh, finally, I would go with uh, Jeff Madoff, who uh, just recently wrote a book called Creative Careers, and he's just always really been wonderful in terms of connecting people uh, and helping uh, helping support people and sort of bring them bring them together for all sorts of different creative ventures. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the uh, couple of ideas I have, and uh, hope everybody is doing well. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Vinny Fisher here, the CEO and founder of Fully Accountable. Fully Accountable is a fractional CFO and e-commerce accounting company for e-commerce, tech, and digital companies throughout North America. We provide that entire back office. We help you run and operate like a profit center so that you can actually truly keep more of the money that you make and not just have some type of, so to speak, bookkeeping service. You can find out more about us at fullyaccountable.com. So I was asked about like my three favorite books and I figured I'd show you like from a standpoint of business relationship stuff. I'm, I'm in a phase of my life where I'm building companies, teams, multiple operations. And so I think always about acquisition of the customer. So one of my favorite reads 
is Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. So I would highly recommend that book. Probably a go-to book for me all the time, especially right now with kind of the activities of being a CEO. I have a wartime CEO mindset. And so I would love The Hard Thing About Hard Things. And this is by Ben Horowitz. And then because I only have it in digital format, Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. These three books from a leadership perspective are excellent. One of them, of course, is really from acquiring the customer. And the other two are more for company expansion stuff. And then finally, you know, I think your network is a critical component to the growth of your company. And, you know, when I think about who I do business with and collaborate with, the people in charge of Rise 25 and Dr. Jeremy Wise and John Cochran are two guys right at the top of the list. But I would also throw in Roland Frazier, And Ed O'Keefe is two people that I collaborate with on a regular basis. Hey, everyone. My name is Jeff Garnett. I'm the owner of Clean Slate Laser Tattoo Removal Centers. Uh, We're a regional chain of tattoo removal clinics in New York and New Jersey. We have six locations and remove several thousands of tattoos every year. Our website is www.cleanslatelaser.com. Um, as far as uh, books, our you know, preferred business books this year, uh, I think the one that really spoke to me the best was Bottleneck Breakthrough by Josh Long. Um, Josh does an amazing job at looking at kind of the pain points as companies are growing from a solopreneurship to a small business and you know, from 500,000 a year to a million a year to two or three million a year, five million a year and 10 million a year. Uh, they're were definitely some struggling points that I was dealing with that I felt were unique to my business. But after reading his book, it felt like he was speaking directly to me. And um, not only were his suggestions extremely helpful, but they also, um, it, it was comforting to know that it wasn't just me and that I'm not just out of my mind and that these were very common struggling points that businesses my size have. Um, As far as a customer service uh, story, um, years ago, I was at a fancy restaurant in New York called Per Se. I was working in the financial industry and I was entertaining clients. And I went there with my wife and a client and his wife. And uh, my wife liked the French macaroons. They must have taken note of it and put it in the CRM because six months later, I came back with clients without my wife. And at the end of the dinner, they brought me a bag of French macaroons and said, we remember that your wife loved these last times. It made me look like a star when I got home. And uh, it was so impressive. I'll never forget it. Use your CRM notes. It helps. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Hi, my name is Leron Hirschhorn. I'm the CEO of Incrementum Digital. Incrementum Digital helps you grow your sales on Amazon using the power of Amazon advertising and Amazon DSP. You can reach me at Liran, L-I-R-A-N, at incrementumdigital.com. So the question is, how do you, um, what, are my, what are the top three books for uh, partnerships and business relationships? And I'm not going to cover books. I'm actually going to cover some of the things that I do um, that have helped me in developing relationships. And the number one thing is coming from the standpoint, coming from the energy of how can I give? How can I add value? to this uh, situation, to this networking, to this relationship. And I don't have a formula or I don't have a a, a score I keep if that comes back to me today or if it comes back to me in the future. And a lot of times, you know, I will meet somebody, I'll add value, and then they'll introduce me to somebody else and that uh, relationship develops. And so I think the, the key in building relationships is coming from a standpoint of giving, coming from a standpoint of how do I create value and not keeping score and knowing that the universe, that the law of reciprocity brings these things back um, somewhere or another into your life. Um, Some of the key people um, that I follow in principles um, is Jesse Itzler. I've gotten to spend some time with him uh, in this past year. And one of the things he does is simple little things to build upon relationships, like following up with an email, following up with a handwritten note. If you reached out to one additional person uh, over the next year, you'll reach out to an additional 365 relationships, um, just out of the blue, following up and networking. Jeremy Weiss is actually excellent at this um, and consistently does this um, in building uh, relationships. And if you are close to him, um, you're probably getting those messages. So I think it's doing the small things other people aren't willing and coming from the 
energy standpoint of giving and creating value for others. Hey, this is Justin Breen. I run the PR firm Brepic. It's a PR firm that works only with visionaries and exceptional businesses around the world. The website is brepicllc.com. That's B as in boy, R E P as in pony, I C as in cobra, LLC.com. Brepicllc.com. Top three books for customer service are business relationship partnerships. Uh, really like Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Uh, Chris actually wrote the forward for my book, Epic Business, which recently launched. Uh, Love the NCG Factor by Larry Kaufman and uh, Extreme Ownership, uh, How U.S. Navy SEALs Lead and Win. Those are great books for business leadership and developing really great business relationships and partnerships. There are several people that I highly respect for business relationships, partnerships, basically what my company is, an incubator of geniuses around the world, and we're constantly introducing each other for mutual gain. And the byproduct is I'm constantly getting intros to companies and businesses around the world. Uh, some really great entrepreneurs who are awesome at, at uh, creating real partnerships and great relationships are Karen Todd. Matt Deutschman, uh, Larry Kaufman's very solid. Chris Johnson is an excellent uh, person who creates amazing intros uh, for me and my business. And boy, there's so many more, but uh, I'm so thankful to have my company, Brepic, and, and uh, sharing joy and abundance and investment mindset around the world. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. Like a peach if you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand